Hey guys, it's Lavinia and welcome to today's video. I am super excited. As you guys can tell by the title, today we're going to be trying out the new L'Oreal Infallible lip paints. Um, ever since I've got my hands on these, I've just been so excited to try them out. I mentioned these in the drugstore haul I posted on Friday, so if you haven't checked that out, I'll link it down below for you guys to watch. But in that video, I mentioned how I wanted to do a first impressions on these lip products, trying them out, testing them throughout the day, and then lip swatching all the five shades I have and kind of just taking you guys through my day. It's going to be a pretty chill video of me talking about my first impressions on this lip product. Obviously, I won't have a full-on review for you guys today, but but I will keep using them after today's video and update you guys in future videos um, if I continue to like them or not after this first impression. So I'm going to stop blabbering and let's just get right on into this video. Okay, so if you guys don't um, know what these are already, these are technically a lipstick melted down, so that's why it's called a lip paint. It is not a liquid lipstick. It won't dry matte on the lips. It has more of a glossy um, look to them. Apparently, they're supposed to be very pigmented. Um, pretty long wearing. Obviously, they're not going to be super long wearing because they are not a matte liquid lipstick. Um, again, they have that more glossy look to them. Um, they also do come with a wand, as you can see here, which I really like because then you can get more precise with applying them. And they have a ton of shades. I only picked up five, but they have a great, great shade selection for you guys to pick out what shades you like. So let's just lip swatch them now. Um, I'm going to start off with this shade right here. This is 313 Spicy Blush and it's just a beautiful nude shade. You guys know I had to pick up a nude. I'm going to quickly line my lips with the Essence in the Nude um, lip liner. I'm only going to go on the perimeter so that it doesn't affect the color of the actual lip paint. I'm really excited to try these on. Okay, so that is really pigmented. You guys can't really tell since it is a nude, but That was really easy to apply. It just glided right on. Now I have spicy blush on my lips. And I absolutely love it. It applied so nicely. I think I totally could have skipped the lip liner because um, the teardrop applicator on here made it really easy to go right on the lip line and create a nice smooth line. Um, it just glided right on. It's really, really pigmented. And as you guys can tell, it has that glossy look to it. But it's literally like I just applied a lipstick and added a tiny bit of gloss on top. Um... So I kind of like that. It's kind of just all in one product and you don't need to go in with multiple products. Um, I think this is really nice and hydrating. Yeah. So I really like this color Spicy Blush and I'm definitely going to wear it a ton if I end up liking these lip um, paints because it's a beautiful, beautiful color. Okay, so with this next color, I'm going to skip the lip liner this time and see if it's still as easy to create a nice, perfect line. So we're going in with the shade 312 um, Nude Star. And it's just a little deeper and a little more peachy than um, Spicy Blush. So this one applied just as smoothly. I'm really happy with how it looks. I love the color. Very neutral, very wearable, day-to-day -day basis type color. Um, and it just makes your lips look really nice. I have really dry lips, so this isn't emphasizing any cracks or lines or anything on my lips so I'm really really liking this so far and the color is really really pretty. Okay the next shade I have right here I am probably the most excited to try out of any shade I picked up. This is the shade 310 and it's called Topless and as you guys can see this is a very gray toned taupe. It's really exciting to see the drugstore coming out with colors like this so let's apply it. Holy pigment! <laughs> that is really pigmented. Okay, that's a very, very cool color. Um, definitely less wearable than the two shades I showed before. I feel like with this one, I would want to use a lip liner. It's kind of, you know, sliding. With the nudes, I definitely did not need a lip liner, but with this one, I would probably just go in with a light layer. Just um, outlining my lips before I went in with this next time. 
Now we have the two darker shades that I picked up. Right here I have 326 and it's just a really nice berry maroon shade. All right, that is gorgeous. I'm obsessed with this color. I think it's so beautiful. You guys know how I love my maroon shades like this. I really like it. It looks gorgeous on the lips. Sometimes darker shades like this can really, um, you know, look kind of like a mess if you don't do it right. But this is definitely a nice product. Um, I think L'Oreal did the dark shades really, really nice. It's not streaky or anything. It's definitely lighter than I thought. Um, but let's try to go in with a second layer and see if I can darken this up. Okay, so you definitely can build this. Um, I added a second layer on top and it's uh, quite a bit darker. Not looking too overloaded or, you know, messy or anything because I added the second coat. Because it is more of that glossy consistency, you can just kind of blend everything right in whereas with some liquid lipsticks if you put another layer on top it starts to look even worse patchy dry and all that but this um looks fine if you build up the color which i'm happy about okay now we're going to go in with our last shade this beautiful purple this is in the shade 302 violet twist Definitely with shades like this, I would wear a lip liner under if I'm actually going to wear it throughout the day. And this is a little bit of a risky product um, since it is this lip gloss form. It will get messy if you're eating and stuff like that. But I'm going to put it to the test and see how messy it really gets. Um, but it's a beautiful purple shade. I don't know if it's picking up on camera how it actually looks in person. But I really like it. Really comfortable. Um, didn't apply streaky. What I think I like about these the most is that you can build them up. Um, if you just, uh, before applying, you just take off some of the product right on the side here. You can just get a nice light wash of color. Like, look, if I scrape the side off and I go on my hand, like, it's lighter than if I go right in and, like, apply it. Okay, so when I took this purple shade off my hand, it did stain, um... So I think that's the only shade that stains because it is a purple. Uh, but now we're going to pick a shade to wear throughout the day and see how long it wears, how messy it gets, um, you know, if it does anything weird. So yeah, I think I'm going to go with this shade right here, um, 313 Nude Star. I really liked how it looked on it and I think it matches the makeup I'm wearing today. So let's just apply this. So the lip paint is on and I love it so much already. Of course I haven't worn it throughout the day to see how much wear time it gets. But just I love how it looks on my lips. It makes my lips look really hydrated and plumped up and um, I love the shades I picked out. And this shade in particular is super wearable. I feel like anyone can pull it off. Um, again, if you're looking for a nice hydrating product, this is something you might want to try. But um, I will check back in with you guys in a couple hours or so and see how the lip paint is holding up. So um, yeah, I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. So it's been around an hour, a bit over an hour since I applied the lip product. Um, it's now around 12.15 and I applied this around 11.00. So it's holding up great. I just finished having lunch and I was so impressed. Um, it tr did transfer onto my cup um, that I was drinking out of, but not that much as I expected it to. So that was awesome. And also it's still looking so good after eating a full meal. The color is still there. The gloss is still there. Usually after I eat, you can still see the color, but the finish of the lip product is totally gone. If I'm wearing gloss, the gloss is gone. There's just the color left. So this has impressed me so much. It looks just as opaque as when I applied it. So that's awesome. Um, it didn't smear anywhere, um, which I was really impressed by. So, so far so good, but I will check back in in a couple of hours. Hey guys, I'm here for another check-in. It's around 2.30 right now, so it's been a couple hours since my last check-in, but I just want to tell you guys that my lips are still looking great. Um, a lot of the times with moisturizing products, um, 
my lips do look cracked after a few hours but with this they're still looking great they're still nice and moisturized the color is still there of course it has faded but it is still there which is awesome and it's I've been wearing this lip product for around four hours now I haven't done much today just some cleaning some organizing because my makeup is all over the place but yeah I will check in with you guys in a little bit hey guys so this is gonna be my final check-in um the lip product is for the most part all gone there's like a little tint left but no more product it's like 3 30 so an, about an hour since my last check-in overall i'm so highly impressed by these so far um from the one color i tried out it gave me around four hours of wear which i really enjoyed and i was eating drinking you know all of that so um i think this is a really easy product to um wear like as an everyday thing if you're applying like the nude or more of the wearable shades um i'm definitely going to be using this at school even you know it's really quick and easy to apply during the day you don't need a lip liner or anything else i think for a um, more lip gloss based product these were super pigmented and they lasted a really long time um obviously not as long as a liquid lipstick but they're not a transfer proof type products so I was really impressed by these I love the applicator they have no scent to them which I really enjoyed because sometimes scents can you know irritate certain people but there's absolutely no scent to these they are drugstore they retail for around eight dollars so I definitely recommend these to you guys who are looking for a nice moisturizing lip product that's super pigmented at the same time so keep in mind this is more like a melted down lipstick i really enjoyed the shade nude star and i will definitely be testing these out as the days go by and definitely be updating you guys in a future video but so far i'm really loving these and i will definitely keep using them so yeah let me know your thoughts on the new infallible lip paints if you've tried them already let me know your favorite shades and stuff i'd love to know thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you all in my next video bye guys